What's up you guys, Cryptogamon here coming at you with a brand new video here to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a updated room tour video. The last time I did this was about a year and a month ago. I did a basement tour video back home over the summer, but this is more related to my room at school, so I figured I'd be going through it and basically showing you guys what has changed because as you guys can probably already tell, a lot has changed since my last room tour video. So let's get straight into this. This is what it looks like when you first walk in the room. So I guess the first thing I can talk about is the rug. It's very dirty, I know I need to vacuum it, uh, but it's still a very cool design nonetheless. Uh, what can I start off with first? I guess I could just do the posters. So off to the left side, we have a California Dreamin' poster. This was up in my room last year. Some of you guys might remember that poster from my video from last year, but here it is, made its return. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's the only poster that came back from last year. Next up we have a Skull and Crossbones pirate flag with the red bandana and the black eye patch over its right eye. And then to the right of it, we have a black and white American flag, very cool design. And then up to the right, we have a Jersey Shore sort of arrow sign, you can call it. And then this poster, this poster is really cool. It's basically uh, Logic's Everybody album, except it's sort of like a movie style poster, but get this. So when I ordered this poster, I did not ask for this, but he went and signed it. Yep, that is Logic's signature in what I assume is a silver Sharpie marker. Pretty cool stuff. I gotta get like a poster frame or something for this because that that's just, that's too cool. So next up, I guess we could talk about the bed. We got a, you know, average comforter, really soft blanket here at the edge. We got a uh, sunglasses emoji pillow that I got as a gift a while back. It's pretty cool. Uh, we got two standard pillows right here. And then we have this armrest pillow that I use to sort of be like a backing for the rest of my pillows. It's pretty cool. Let's just uh, put these back. And then right down here, we have sort of like the laundry basket where I keep all my laundry, uh, nothing too special. And to go over to the left side, we have a, uh, you know, typical closet. Let me just get this open. Up there is my sort of food stash. Got a bunch of snacks and whatnot up there. Uh, typical closet racks. Uh, and then there's my drawers with some flip-flops chilling down there. All right, that's shut. Got my towel hung up right there. Right here we got a typical mini fridge that we got for our room. Nothing in the freezer. And then in the fridge we just got jelly, Gatorade, ginger ale, water, you know, typical, typical stuff. On top of the fridge we have a fan right here. And then we have this really nice Bose speaker behind this uh, Gamma Gorilla shaker. It's Bluetooth, and you can plug in an aux cord too, which is really nice. It's great sound quality too. Uh, let me just put this right back up here. And then uh, moving up here, we have glow in the dark shaker, green shaker, face shaker, uh, apex shaker, flip side shaker, and then uh, then we have the whiteout shaker, which is my favorite one. And then this is all my G Fuel flavors. I got a lot of tubs, I know, but most of these tubs I either got as gifts or I got during buy one get one free deals so that's why I have so many and I haven't really bought tubs in a while so I'm sort of just trying to use them all first uh, before I buy like any more because I just I have a lot obviously <laughs> but yeah we got pineapple blue ice fruit punch cherry limeade peach mango phase berry strawberry shortcake uh, tropical rain watermelon lemonade and green apple and then I have a couple packets of mystery flavor as well in my desk next up we have like this little lamp thing it's like a fluorescent lamp it sort of clamps onto my desk like this it's really nice it gets a job done nothing too crazy I use this as sort of like a what's it called sort of like a light source for when I'm doing like streams or videos or whatnot just have backlight and then right here we have my uh PAX East 2017 badge. I miss PAX so much. I'm going to go back. Uh, that was such a fun day. Um, what else? Next, we can go into my Funkos. So, most of the Funkos here, I didn't even buy. Actually, the only Funko I bought here was this Short Trooper Funko. Everything else was a gift or I wanted to give away. Uh, this 
white prototype Boba Fett Funko Pop I got in a giveaway. Like, I won the giveaway done by Funko. Like, it was like retweet and follow Funko's tweet and whatnot. And I did that. And they messaged me, like, oh, you won. I'm like, oh, sweet. So they sent me that in the mail. And yeah. Um, Director Krennic Funko and a Death Trooper Funko. Those two were gifts as well. Short Trooper I bought. And then the. Uh, Luke Skywalker and Captain Phasma Funkos were gifts from my roommate. It was such an awesome gift. He got me those like a couple months ago. Let me just move Phasma, this shaker, and then these photos for now. But right now we got this like little, I don't even know what to call it, but it's sort of like a beach glass jar thing. It's really cool. It's like a, like a matte glass texture. It's pretty cool. Um, we got this shot glass like a pirate shot glass, it's pretty cool. It was like a pirate map and whatnot. We got this uh, starfish sort of thing right here. It's really cool. Uh, we have this fake plant thing. I just thought it was a really cool aesthetic for my room, so I decided to pick it up. It was like five bucks, or no, it wasn't five bucks. It was like, I think it was three or four bucks. I got it at five below. I can't remember the exact price, but it was pretty cheap for like a little aesthetic thing. Let's put this stuff back up here. Get this. No, no, don't fall, don't fall. Okay. All right. Just move this over. These are some pictures of me and my girlfriend, Cass. Some of you guys might know her for some of my content. This is a picture of me and my family. My dad, my mom, my sister. I love you guys so much. So here we have my office chair. I got this for like... 20 bucks brand new at Staples, like, not last summer, but the summer before. It's a pretty good chair for the price I got it for. You know, it's just like, you know, pretty standard. Um, next up, we have my keyboard, which is very colorful. It's the Razer Chroma Tournament Edition V2, I believe. It has this uh, removable wrist cushion thing. I forget what the word is. But yeah, it also has yellow switches in there. Uh, next up we have the Razer Death Adder Elite mouse. So both the keyboard and the mouse I actually got on sale at Best Buy last summer when I was getting my new PC. So it was really great to hear. I forget what price I got them for. I think the Death Adder I got for like 50 or 60 and the keyboard I got for like I believe a hundred some crazy deal. I forget the exact price, but there's something around there uh, Next up we have the blue Yeti microphone. This thing is amazing. I love this mic. Uh, we have this pop filter cover thing that Fellow youtuber rev gave me so thank you so much for that gift. I really appreciate it. Uh, we have this Extended mouse pad. I got this for like I think nine bucks on Amazon. It's a really great mouse pad and it's a great aesthetic to my desk as well. I have these two light up speakers. I will show you guys what those look like later. They're awesome. I got those as a gift as well. I have an Xbox One S controller just chilling under my first monitor right there. And then I have a white PS4 controller uh, with two control freaks on them as well. I love these control freaks. I forget the name of them, but they're like amazing. I got this as a gift as well from Cass. I love those control freaks. Probably my favorite. Now, as for the monitors, we have a BenQ Zoe. I forget what the name of the monitor is exactly. A lot of the stuff that you guys see in the video, I'm going to put in the description. So if you guys are interested in checking it out, uh, check down there because I'm going to leave like the list of the full names of accessories and whatnot down in the description. Uh, we have another BenQ monitor. I forget the name of this. This one is 60 hertz, I believe, and this one I know is 144 hertz. Uh, this one was more designed for console gaming, I'm pretty sure. And next up, we have the Logitech C920 webcam, I believe. It's 1080p quality. It's pretty good webcam. I got it for like 60 bucks on Amazon. Really good quality. Gets the job done. Let's get into my desk real quick. This first drawer right here just 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 a bunch of clutter, nothing too exciting. Um, and here is where all my games and controllers are and my camera. Uh, we have the original two Battlefronts on PC. Let me actually sit down and go through this. Uh, we have the Xbox One and PS4 controller that came with the systems. Battlefront 2, COD Ghosts, uh, Battlefront 1, Destiny, Far Cry 4. 
We have Battlefront 1, GTA 5, World War 2, uh, South Park, Fraction But Whole, Black Ops 3, IW, uh, and also Modern Warfare Remastered, COD Ghosts, and then back here, we have Sunset Overdrive, 2K15, Battlefield Hardline. Okay, we have Fallout 4, Battlefield 4, Advanced Warfare, I believe this is Black Ops, World at War, and Black Ops 2, Xbox 360, backwards compatible. Uh, next up, we have my camera. Let me pull this out a little more. Put this on the bed. It's a Nikon D3400. I love this camera. Got it as a Christmas gift. It's such a great camera. I love it. And then it also came with this. There we go. Okay, so this is the second kind of lens. 300 millimeter lens. Really good. Haven't really gotten to use that much, but still a great lens nonetheless. Okay, so that's that drawer. And here's just some tech stuff. Not too crazy. And then here is, you know, boring textbook stuff. Star Wars Bloodline is just chilling right there. I'll show you guys what's under my bed. Yeah, we have the beast. So specs on this PC, uh, what are the specs? What are the specs? Uh, it's an AMD Ryzen 7, 1700X processor, GTX 1070 that I got for like 250. Let me actually bring you guys in for a closer look. Uh, we got some LED strips around the side of the case. We got the NCXD S340 case, I believe. It's all white, it's a really nice case. It's slick as hell. I believe there's 32 gigs of RAM, three terabyte hard drive, and a 500 gigabyte SSD in there as well. Here's a closer look inside the build. So this PC's LED strips are actually controllable from this remote right here. Uh, I can do a bunch of different colors, like I'll do white, change it to white, back to blue, green, red. Uh, the headset right here is an Astro A50 headset. Uh, it's really nice. I've had that for like a couple of years. I've had that, I think, three years now? It's been a while, actually. It's still holding up. To the left here, we have my PS4 just chilling on the stand right here. You know, it's just your typical PS4. And then up to the right above my, you know, drawers and whatnot, we have my Xbox One. It's really hard to see. Let me actually turn it on real quick. Boom. There it is. It's just chilling right on here. And let me just get some more boring stuff out of the way. We got, uh, actually no, I wouldn't say this is boring stuff. We got some maroon roaches. We got some vans right here, two pairs. And then we have some Air Force Ones. Really nice shoes. They're pretty dirty. I've had them for like four years now. I'm tempted to get a new pair just because I love those shoes so much. I don't know if I'm going to do it. And then right here we have Chuck -a Lowe's Vans right here. We got some Tims right there. You know, got these really nice Nikes. They're a couple years old, but they're still really nice. The 6.0s. I miss this Nike 6.0 brand. I wish they would continue this again. They discontinued it a couple years ago, which sucks. And then right in there is my running shoes. And then, you know, case of water. We got a bin of storage stuff, I believe. Yeah, my laptop is right on top of it. Uh, Specs has an i7. It has a NVIDIA graphics card. It's not the highest graphics card. I think it's like a 750 mobile graphics card or something. It's nothing too special, but it gets, it gets somewhat of a job done. And then my backpack. Then we got some slippers. <laughs> now let's get into one of my favorite parts of this room, all right? So we have these... Christmas lights just lined up all around the room as you guys can see so These lights actually change color. Let me show you guys real quick So there's this little dial down here You turn this dial You got it to a strobing feature and then you got the blinking color and then you got the solid color and I believe there's a This one just like blinks all around it's really cool this one goes back and forth between white and colored. And then this one sort of fades between color and white. Back to white. Okay, so this is... This is all color lights. Let me get these lights off real quick. So this is what it looks like with the color lights on. And I know that it looks a little flickery, like the, the camera and whatnot. I'm sorry, I can't really do anything to fix that. But yeah, it looks really nice. Goes along with my 
PC keyboard and um, what's it called? My background. Next up we have these speakers, which I mentioned earlier. Where's the button to turn them on? So right here, press and hold that and look, look at this. So it makes like a light show. It's crazy. I got two of these. I'll turn the second one on. So these speakers actually hook up through either Bluetooth or an aux cord. Just look at this. Pretty crazy, right? I just got these speakers. It's They're crazy. I got them as a gift for my Nana, so thank you to Nana. Let me actually shut these off just to save battery. Okay, so that's the first one. I'll put that first one there. And then the second one. Shut that off. Now let's get into my favorite part of this room. So it looks very colorful in here as is, right? You know, you got the Christmas lights, you got the PC down there, the keyboard, but let me show you guys something very cool. And boom. Wait, that's not, oh, here we go. <laughs> All right. Just back up, give you guys a better view. Look at that. So basically what I just did is I turned on my LED strips. So I have LED strips going from the back of my desk there, going up the desk, the back of the desk, behind my bed, and around my bed. So it's got this almost underglow look to it. And then uh, there's a bunch of different colors you could use. There's white. There's blue, which I just had. There's green. Green looks pretty cool. Uh, there's red. Red just looks satanic. It looks awesome. Looks very dark side-esque. Yellow. Uh, this is like a light blue almost. Oh no, that's like a light green. It looks blue on screen, but it's it says green. Uh, pink. This is also another light blue. Uh, purple. Different hue of purple different hue of blue. There's also like a bunch of different features on this remote. I haven't really quite figured them out yet. Let me just show you guys the features real quick. Yeah, so a bunch of different features you could use. That's my lamp, by the way. Um, I haven't really learned how to use them all yet. I just usually keep it on blue just because I love the aesthetic of the blue. Yeah, so I have the strips going all the way around and it just gives this whole mysterious vibe to it almost I, I don't know if I'd say mysterious but it just looks really cool and it goes along with my whole aesthetic of the room and then this is what it looks like underneath yeah but that's gonna be wrapping it up for my room tour for February 2018 let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below uh, wanted to make this video to sort of give you guys some ideas slash tips for making like your your room look really cool or whatnot. Hopefully this helped. Hopefully I gave you guys some ideas. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to join the ever-so-growing table of elements. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Crypto Gaman, out of here. Peace out, guys.